Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texalent News, and today we're taking a look to see how the Galaxy Note 9 has been holding up since its release. This is our long-term review, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Aside from slightly squared corners, the Note 9 isn't a radical design departure from previous Samsung phones. Although you may notice it is out of line compared to other devices in the market. The absence of a notch or a hole punch keeps the device more symmetrical, which is best in my opinion. The only significant changes are some flashy color options, slightly chamfered edges, and a much better location for the fingerprint scanner. You still have your large display, Bixby button, headphone jack, USB-C charging port, stereo speakers, and dual cameras on the back. Our unit is the Ocean Blue. It's a deep blue finish with a contrasting yellow S Pen that gives the whole phone a unique eye-catching look. It's been holding up well. In fact, it has never had a screen protector and there are zero scratches on the 6.4 inch display. I am pretty careful with my devices, so there are also zero scuffs or damages around the phone, plus this bumper really helps. But after a few years by now, Samsung's design language is a little stale. It's a classy looking device, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing we haven't seen before, which is why I'm sure we can expect some kind of design change with their next model. I did put a skin on the back of mine to change up the look a bit, and it definitely turns a lot of heads. Even so, the Note 9 is a great looking smartphone with a solid build quality and water resistance. Plus, I will always give Samsung props for not following the trend of the iPhone 10 style notch or removing the headphone jack. As for the performance, I'm happy to report that after all this time, the performance of last year's Snapdragon A45 processor hasn't taken a hit at all. Our unit is the model with 512 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Honestly, I've never used a phone with this much storage. I mean, you really have to go out of your way to fill this up. I can't say enough good things about the performance. It has been great, everyday tasks are a breeze, and even intense gaming moves right along without any hiccups. The speed of the phone after all this time is unbelievable and it really is a multitasker's dream. Now some of the reason why the performance of the Note 9 is doing so well could be because of the recent software update to Samsung's One UI and Android Pie. I wasn't really a fan of Samsung's user interface before, but this new One UI is definitely growing on me. It's basically the company's way of solving the taller screen issue by shifting everything down toward the bottom of the display. Samsung is basically using the top half as empty space with some text identifying the app you're in. This update definitely helps with one-handed use, reducing the hassle from stretching your thumb all the way to the top of the screen. The battery life seems to have also improved with these software updates, thanks in part to its new adaptive battery feature from Android Pie. You see, adaptive battery works to prioritize battery power only for the apps and services you use the most. With this 4,000 milliamp hour battery, new software plus dark themes, I'm getting some of the most impressive battery life I've ever had on a phone. The screen on time numbers have been consistently great. Battery life has been holding up well after all this time. Definitely one of the strongest features on the Note 9. Speaking of strong features, let's talk about the cameras. As the cameras on our phones have improved every year, Samsung's high-end devices have some of the best camera systems and that's no exception with the Note 9. The pictures and video on this phone show impressive dynamic range and excellent levels of detail. It even uses AI for given scenes and will notify you if the image is blurry. I haven't been disappointed with the camera quality on the Note 9 and I don't think you would be either. Plus now there's even a remote button on the S Pen to take pictures. Along with all the other standard features that come with a stylus, the remote feature like taking pictures or pausing music are pretty useful. Overall, the Note 9 is a beast with enough features to please a variety of people. For as long as I've had been using the Note 9, I've always been confident knowing that the phone will be able to do anything that I would need it to do and more. The 512 model was originally priced at $1,250, and I know that's a lot of money, but I think it's the only phone feature packed enough that's actually worth it. Plus this phone should last a really long time. Considering it's been months since release, prices have come down, which makes it even easier for us to recommend. For more smartphone coverage, visit our website at texelandnews.com. Follow our Instagram for excellent technology news daily, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Texelan News, and I will see you all in our next video.